let's make crispy bread. But this time we're gonna make it in the air fryer. So we are going to get all these seeds together and get it mixed and see how it comes in the air fryer. This is the Norwegian crispy bread, which is like a seed cracker. Okay, we'll see. Okay, for our ingredients, I've got a third cup of boiling water three and a half tablespoons of olive oil. You can use avocado oil or any oil you like. I try to stay away from corn oil and stuff like that. Three and a half tablespoons of oil. Then I've got three tablespoons of everything but the bagel seasoning. You can leave this out if you're on a low sodium diet. You can use any spice that you want. So this is just part of what we use in our recipe. But the actual recipe after this is a third cup of boiling water, three and a half tablespoons of oil, two tablespoons of chia seeds, and there are chia seeds everywhere, two tablespoons of chia seeds, a half of a cup of sunflower seeds, one third cup of untoasted raw sesame seed, you might be able to use toasted, I don't know, I haven't tried. One half a cup of black seed. I've got a little bit of dark and a little bit of golden in this one, you can use either. And one half a cup of pumpkin seed. We could not find any raw pumpkin seed, we have been using toasted. All right, so that's it. We're gonna put everything in this bowl and mix it with the hot water. It's gonna be a runny batter, but the chia seeds make it thicken up. You wait approximately 10 minutes and it's thick enough to spread on your cookie sheet. Okay. And you're gonna spread it cracker thin on your cookie sheet. And me and my roommate were surprised at how much we had to go over and over and over and over it again to get it all even, but it's kind of like soothing. It's like a meditative, sorry, my camera's all over the place because I'm holding it. I don't know where my amazing tripod is my friend gave me. When I clean, I hide shit from myself. Anyway, so here is our batter. It is going to thicken up. We will spread it on the cookie sheet. The cookie sheet, I've got a pretty large one here. I've got some parchment paper on here. A fun fact, I just found out today that brown parchment paper is compostable, but white par parchment paper is not biodegradable and has to be recycled. Like, what recycle place is going to take that? But if you have a recycle bin with your city, then you can put your white parchment paper in that. We do, so I'll be doing that. Um, it's too late now, but I, on the very few occasions that I have used it, I put it in my compost, so bummer. I have got my Pit Boss. Oh, look at my dishes. See, all these YouTubers that have like a perfectly clean kitchen, that is not for real. We don't have a dishwasher. This is what it looks like when my roommates are gone. Then I clean it before they come home. That's right. Anyway, uh, I've got my Pit Boss preheated to, to 300. And you're going to either do that in your oven, your smoker grill, whatever you've got that you can maintain the temperature. And you are going to turn that tray every half hour. Why are we doing this? We're doing this so that it can be even, you know, fairly often ovens don't have an even heat distribution. So you turn it every half hour, which means three turns, and it comes out great. Uh, God willing, I'll be back to show you. I couldn't understand why the batter was not looking right, and I forgot 
you need a third cup of cornstarch, which I have already put in there. Ooh, didn't all get in there. And I couldn't understand why it was so thick. I said one third cup of hot boiling water. It is actually three quarter cup. And since I already put, since I already put the one third in there, I'm just going to put the rest. Anyway, I just wanted to, uh, I don't know what y'all were looking up. I just wanted to make that, look at the mess. Make that correction that you need a third cup of cornstarch and three quarter cup of boiling water. Okay, here we are all spread out. It's looking beautiful. It's super thin but not so thin that it won't lift, if that makes any sense. Okay, so I'm gonna go pop it in the air fryer. No, have I been saying that this whole time? The smoker, the pit boss smoker, I'm smoking it. Okay, we're headed outside. And it is a beautiful day. You'd think if I was going to do a video, I would clean this thing. The wind blows so much here. The grass gets all over it anyway. All right. I do have some wood pellets. I can't lift it and hold the phone with one hand. It's not heavy. It's too heavy. Um, oh, I'm going to have to put the phone down. I just realized I wasn't recording, and I had been talking my head off. So I don't know if I got this or not. There he is. He's in there. It set it 300 degrees. You'll want to turn it every half an hour so it'll have even heat distribution and it should take about 90 minutes. I'll come back when it's done. Okay, this is the final, final thing. I've came out here every half hour and turned it. So I am turning my grill off now and oh look at that. That's amazing. I was afraid it was going to burn it but it didn't. It looks fantastic. I brought it inside. So what you're going to have here is a giant Ooh, hot. A giant cracker. And you can just crumble it up into pieces that you like. Most people, when you see it online, they are cut into equal, rather large, uh, loaf bread size pieces. But it's, it's hard, so it's not going to be like a sandwich. I personally like to put salted butter on mine. My roommate likes to put cream cheese on hers. I have had um, guacam oh no, avocado on it, and uh, ooh, it's really good with avocado. So there you have it, Norwegian crispy bread.